Hello there, here is a video on a invisible door and or a NPC transitioning through a wall. So this is one of the only ways of doing it. The, uh, the other way that I have done it is, uh, and you can see that in one of my previous videos, is that I retextured the cobweb block and uh, you can set NPCs to um, ignore cobwebs. So, if you if you texture a cobweb block as a stone block and then put cobweb blocks here, he could go right through it, as as well as you could too. Um, but this is uh, these are scripted blocks here, and as you can see, there's three of them. Um, right now, they're uh, set as passable. See, I can I can walk right through this one here. Um, but uh, it's currently set that it won't let me walk through there. If I walk through this one, it will prevent, it will set these as not passable. But if the NPC walks over that one, or walks through that one, I did have it down here below, and it wasn't working uh, when I had it there. But it, you could put it there, and it works, it works great right now. Um, it has no problem. Before he had some trouble hitting that block, I'm not quite sure why. Um, but uh, what else was I going to say? Yes, so it won't let me through there at all. So if I go like that, it, it, it basically locks it now and there's nothing on the other side that will open it for him. So right now he's trapped back there. Okay. So uh, I also have these, this block, if I click on it, it will make it passable again. So we could just uh, click on that and then click on that and that makes it passable. And uh, he said on moving path, no, he will come out. Um, and it's, it's interesting, I could click on the bottom one here because the top one is passable and then, then I click again and that's clicks on the top one <laughs> so uh, they are clickable it's interesting interactable um, luckily which you want to think they would be so and that makes it passable so let me get over here inside of here with him and I need to set him to just stand still here for a second and I'll show you something else that you can do here uh, okay so he will he's in standing now and he is aggressive to me so I'll show you what happens when I run out there. Now if I run out this door, see right now they're passable to me until I hit that block on the other side. So if I run out that door, it's going to lock these blocks, okay? So he won't be able to follow me. If I can get out there without him killing me, okay. So you see, I ran out here and that locked these blocks now. They're not passable because I hit this one before he was uh, uh, through the block. So, however, if I make those passable now, I will come here and I'll... Now those are passable now. And you see he's not... He's not going to attack me. Let me see. See if he can. Oops! If he can see me, he can. Uh, he can. Uh, all right. Once he sees me, he can. Uh, he can track me. So I was going to show you that if I broke out that glass window there, that uh, he would. Uh, he would also attack me. I didn't know he was actually going to uh, be able to. Is that his name? 
yes. So he won't be able to track me, attack me, or track me until he uh, can find me. As see, if I break this window, see, there we go again. Okay. So that's that's interesting. That's uh, at least one way to set up a one-way door, an invisible door. You can see it's a little bit different. Um, I don't particularly like that, but it's not too bad, and uh, it doesn't let uh, players in. So that's it. One more door. Thanks for watching.